Hi, I'm Dan Murphy and I'm the creator of the Blue Feather line of torches. What I'm going to talk about today is the setup of our new torch that we're just coming out with. When the torch comes, it's going to be disassembled. So what you're going to need to do, grab your tip extension, grab a tip, your nut, Pretty much like what you've done on all the rest of the torches you've ever used before. This is a half inch flat on here. The intent was to fit a half inch wrench. What I like to use is a, a, a larger crescent wrench with nice sharp straight jaws. And I like to hold it with that. And then I'll grab my 7 8 wrench to tighten it up. Next, to install this on here, just simply slide it in. Take your half inch wrench, snug it up. Now the torch is configured and ready to use. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put check valves on the torch. Roof header torch requires the use of check valves that are attached to the torch. They're just simply screwed on. And tightened up just like you've always done with all your hoses in the past. And then someplace in the system you're going to want flashback arresters. These simply, this is what I use. Um, these are usually sitting on our tanks. And then I, for the cutting torch I would use these on the torch. Flashback arresters are considered mandatory by Blue Fitter Torch. So get them where you want them, put them on the tanks or on the torch. It's your option. Main thing is check valves on the torch. And the check valves on the torch, what that's mostly for is if you plug your tip so you don't backflow oxygen or acetylene into the opposite hose. Now you've got a combustible mixture in the hose, which is something you want to avoid. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to set the torch up for gas welding, which is simply Remove this. And your welding tip goes on. And then we're going to remove what we call the shoe. The shoe there's another half inch wrench again. There's O-rings that are involved so you don't need a lot of torque on this. And you simply take this bolt that holds your shoe on, put it back in your, your torch. And there's, there's two O-rings that we're compressing right now. So you don't have to, it doesn't take much to stop it from leaking. And now it's set up in welding configuration. The tips that are available on, for this torch are the same tips that we use on our small torches. And they range from five and a half thousandths all the way up to 110 thousandths. And then there's 19 of them. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall the shoe. Take this bolt out. In the shoe, there's an O-ring in here, there's an O-ring on the bolt. So what you're going to do, this little shoulder goes against the O-ring in there. You're going to take your, your bolt. And 
And what I do, it doesn't take a lot of torque to hold this. You can see I'm just using the end of the wrench and I'll just tighten it up. Where the shoe is somewhat locked in place. Doesn't take a lot of torque. And everything is sealed with O-rings. So, now you're ready to go back into your cutting configuration. That pretty much describes the operation of this torch.